Hey cutie, are you almost ready to leave? Yeah, I just got another text from my parents, again, saying that they're very excited to cook for us tonight. But we should probably get going soon if we're going to make it on time. Hey, wait, you seem down. Mm -mm. You can't hide it from me, I know you too well. There's something bothering you, and we need to fix it ASAP so I can see your smile again. So, come on. What's making you feel so junk? Mm -mm, I don't want you to be sad at my parents' house. I want to have a good time with you guys tonight. Okay, okay. It's fine. Hey. No pressure. But I just want to hear what's on your mind. I want to see if I can make you feel better. I'd rather have you express yourself than hold it in. Especially if there's something I can do. So, let's hear it. Of course I won't judge you. I'm all ears. Mm. Oh wait, <laughs> hold up. Not attractive? What are you talking about? You're the cutest person in the whole world. Oh, I can't believe you think that. And going so far as to think that I don't find you attractive? Baby, that's the furthest thing from the truth. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but you should know by now that I'm crazy about you and that I think you're stunning and adorable and hot and so kind and smart and ugh, I can't even name all the things I love about you because there's too many. <laughs> Come here. Well, with all due respect, I don't care if you hate that about yourself because I truly love everything about you. Yes, even the parts you hate. How? How can I not is a better question. You say you hate how you look, but when I see you, I just see my favorite human. And I want to be close to you and hold you. And kiss you. And squeeze you. You're really perfect for me. You know that? Mm hmm I always catch myself staring at you, zoning out. I'm so attracted to you. Yeah, my mind always goes places when you're around. It's really distracting, actually. Oh, baby, don't even worry about your outfit. Mm -hmm. My parents have seen you a thousand times, and they love you for the person you are, not how good you look, even though you look really good. <laughs> Yes, I swear, they like you better than me. <laughs> but I get that it's stressful for you to pick out something to wear. It's really sweet of you to always want to look your best for them. But seriously, you could wear a potato sack and my mom will still tell me you look amazing. And my dad will still give me smiles from across the room. <laughs> you don't notice that? He does it all the time. It's his, like, you did good picking this person signal. Yes, he does it all the time. I just hate to see you trying on outfit after outfit and feeling insecure or like you're not enough. Because if I'm being honest, I think you look so good in everything you wear. I just want to, like, <laughs> jump your bones, but... Then I see you looking in the mirror all sad and I want to grab you up and cuddle you to smile again. Oh, is that what you're worried about? You think a little tummy's gonna scare me away? If you didn't notice, I have one too. <laughs> Helps to keep my organs safe and cozy. And if anyone judges your character based on how the middle part of your body is emphasized, that's not a person whose opinion I care about. Besides, I like your tummy. I do. Do I have to give you a raspberry to prove it? Hmm, don't try me, I'll do it. Okay, 
I won't. See? I'm respecting your boundaries. No raspberries. Hmm. Okay, that's true. You did not have this tummy when we started dating, but I think that's a good thing. Yeah, our bodies are not meant to look young and crazy for our whole lives. We're supposed to change and grow. <laughs> I'd be concerned if you still look like a 21-year-old. Well, if you haven't noticed, I have not stopped chasing you through all your phases. Your emo phase, your preppy phase, your super hipster phase. <laughs> they were all so attractive to me because the person behind it was expressing themselves and they're happy. I hate to see you base your self-worth on how you look because you're so much more than that. Mm-hmm. You're a super thoughtful and caring partner who would drive across town just to get me my favorite coffee. You're a reliable friend who will drop all their plans and cook someone a meal if they're feeling down, no questions asked. You're the sibling who everyone can count on to keep the peace and crack a perfectly timed joke. <laughs> I love seeing you try new things because the thrill that you get from figuring something out is super contagious. <laughs> and you're the best pet parent to Kiki, always playing with him and making him feel loved. You're just the greatest. There's no other way to say it. And that's why I keep choosing you every single day. That's why I feel lucky to say this is my person to anyone who'll listen, not because of your pants size. I mean, really, it's just numbers arbitrarily given to standardized clothing, and your size does not change the value of your character. So what if it's double digits? <laughs> they could have chosen a system where the smallest size is like 1,706. <laughs> or maybe they call it flying llama or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make up our own system then. My size will be panda bear. And you can be bamboo. Yeah, because I want to eat you up in this outfit. <laughs> Are you feeling better? I know you're not going to feel amazing, but I do want you to understand how much I love you, okay? Now let's finish getting ready. I can already taste my mom's fried rice. Come on, cutie. <laughs>